Long have fans waited for Tales of the Jedi Season 2. I mean, Tales of the Empire. Star Wars has just surprised us by dropping the official trailer for the next animated show after the Bad Batch. Which is set to release on May the 4th, Star Wars Day, and now it's time to break it down. Fire up those TIE Fighters as we dive deeper into the dark side than ever before. Catching up with fan favourite characters that were gone, but far from forgotten. Before we jump in, remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoy it, and of course subscribe to the channel if you want to catch more. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the first trailer for Tales of the Empire. Why do you seek Imperial favour? Years ago, my people were all but destroyed. My anger gives me strength. It is that strength I offer the Empire. Offer accepted. Right off the bat, the trailer hits us with the icy blue visage of Grand Admiral Thrawn, with Lars Mikkelsen lending his chilling tones once more, a voice that's become synonymous with the character in Ahsoka. Thrawn's on the prowl, dropping the heavy question, why do you seek Imperial favour? And boom, there's Morgan Elsbeth, our mysterious knight sister from The Mandalorian Season 2, the one Ahsoka was grilling for Thrawn's whereabouts. Fast forward and she stirred up trouble as the big bad in Ahsoka Season 1, hustling to hoard all those Imperial goodies to bring Thrawn back to the starry limelight. But hold up, the trailer's about to spill the tea on her past. We're not just talking a quick flashback, we're diving deep into why she's Thrawn's number one fan and how her Knight sister ends up waving the Empire's flag. And speaking of Knight Sisters, the trailer's got us connecting the cosmic dots. From the Great Mothers on Peridia to Merrin's Mystique in Fallen Order, to the grand return of a Sarge Ventress in The Bad Batch Season 3, and now Morgan Elsbeth's origin story, it's like they're laying down the star map for a Night Sister narrative supernova. So grab your popcorn and keep your eyes peeled because the Empire is about to serve up some serious space opera drama. Braun Saga is weaving through the current canon like a chiss through the unknown regions, especially with Timothy Zorn's new trilogy giving us a VIP pass to the Empire's backstage. Now for the diehard fans, the original Thrawn trilogy is a must read, not just for nostalgia, but because whispers in the galaxy suggest those legends might just cross over into canon territory again. Now let's slice into Tales of the Empire, it's stitching together the rich tapestry of the Clone Wars, the OG trilogy, and the fresh adventures from the Disney Plus era. It's like watching the Star Wars universe's family tree grow new branches right before our very eyes. We cut to a forest skirmish with droids. Looks like we're revisiting the tragic fall of the Night Sisters on Dathomir, but through Morgan Elsbeth's eyes. It's a memory etched in blaster fire and betrayal, fueling her vow to the Empire to crush the last embers of the Separatists. It's a clever twist considering the galaxy at large was clueless about Palpatine's double life as a Sith puppet master pulling the strings of the Separatists. And not every frame is a flashback to Dathomir either. Take the soldier snapshot for instance. That's one of Elspeth's own from the Mandalorian and Ahsoka. The timeline is key here though. She's chatting with Thrawn when he's still rocking that Admiral title, not Grand Admiral thanks to the captions. We're nestled snugly between the first two Thrawn novels at this time. And who's that lurking in the shadows? The fourth sister, one of the fearsome Sith Inquisitors. Looks like the Empire's got more than just TIE Fighters up its sleeve this time around. I'm here to present you with an opportunity, Paris. Just be glad you're not a Jedi anymore. Your path is set, Morgan Elspeth. I will fulfill my destiny. Mercy only breeds defeat. But I will help you overcome this weakness. Attack! You said the Empire would help to change things. Everything comes at a cost. The trailer's got everyone on the edge of their seats with the grand comeback of Barriss Offee, the Padawan who once walked the line between the Jedi's rigid code and the chaos of the galaxy. 
She's the one who shook the foundations of the Jedi Temple, quite literally, and Ahsoka's world only to vanish into the annals of the Order's dark history. Until now, of course. As the scenes unfold, we're treated to glimpses of Morgan Elsbeth's journey, her rigorous training, her presence during Daphne's darkest hour. It's a chapter in the galaxy's lore that's screaming for a title. How about the Daphimerian Downfall or the Witching Hour Wipeout? If you've got a title that will do justice to this tragedy, sound it off in the comments below. And there she is, an older Elsbeth mirroring her Mandalorian days on Corvus, gripping the Beskar spear. A symbol of destiny is intertwined and a future armor for Grogu. The tales of these two lost souls are a stark reminder of the Empire's allure. Barris, once a beacon of Jedi ordeals, now teetering on the brink of becoming an Inquisitor. It's a path we've seen before, a dance with the dark side that claimed the second sister in Jedi Fallen Order. And talking about relics, Barris is drawn to a saber that echoes her past, a green blade once wielded by Luminara and Dooley, her former master. The crescendo builds as Republic attack shuttles descend upon a base on Coruscant, juxtaposed against the serene yet somber backdrop of Morgan's garden on Corvus, the very ground where she dueled with Ahsoka as a tale of redemption and ruin, of paths diverged and destinies rewritten under the shadow of the Empire. My world has been burning since I was a child. You cannot stop what has begun. Now, you must face one final test to join us. It is time you meet your new master. Long live the Empire. The trailer continues with a haunting image of Grievous towering over Morgan Elsbeth amidst the chaos of the Daphimerian downfall. Okay, sorry to interrupt, but during editing I've realised that this tragedy actually already has a proper name. It's called the Massacre of the Night Sisters, so I guess we should probably call it that now. As the screen fades to black, the words fear, hate, suffering seep across the frame, echoing Yoda's teachings from the Phantom Menace about the dark side's seductive pull. It's a powerful hint that Tales of the Empire will delve into the complexities of Elsbeth's character. Once bright-eyed, her spirit was likely as pure as the Coruscant skyline, but the galaxy's cruel tides swept away her innocence, leaving behind a heart encased in Durasteel, being only for vengeance. Braun, ever the strategist, might have found those flames of retribution, offering a hand in her quest, perhaps at a price. Their alliance could well be rooted in this shared past, a pact sealed with the ashes of Daphimir and the ghosts of Night Sisters. This show promises to be a journey through the shadows of the Empire, where even the brightest stars can be consumed by darkness. The trailer's end is a feast for the eyes, with Barriss Offee thrown into a gladiator-style clash against what appears to be a Jedi Padawan. His stature gives him away. The lineup of Inquisitors is a who's who of the Empire's dark enforcers, including the formidable First Brother and the notorious Maruk. You know the fart puff from Ahsoka? The enigmatic figure resurrected by Night Sister Magic, now he probably was a former Jedi himself, and in this show it might actually reveal who he was. We've got the fourth sister and there's Barris there too, no longer the pad one we knew, but a fully fledged Inquisitor, her allegiance to the dark side cemented as she kneels before the ultimate symbol of power and fear, Darth Vader. Now Vader's history with Barris is fraught with betrayal and animosity, yet as she bows before him, we're left to wonder if there's a flicker of Anakin Skywalker still burning beneath that black armor. Will Vader see the traitor who framed his former Padawan, or will there be a moment of recognition, a sliver of the past that pierces the Sith Lord's cold exterior? Only the show will tell, but one thing's for sure, it's going to be a wild ride through the depths of the dark side. So what do you think? Drop your thoughts and theories in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive breakdown into the galaxy far, far away, hit that like button like it's a target on the Death Star. Don't forget to subscribe for more stellar content. Stay tuned for the next adventure. Until then, the Force will be with you always.